Good morning, friends. Pastor Kim here. Maryville First United Methodist Church. A blessing to be here with you this morning on this Monday morning, this uh, new week, this fresh start to be able to uh, do the work of the Lord, to uh, be together in ministry in whatever way we can uh, be together. And so uh, this morning, we are um, going to be talking about, um, very simply, the fact that we need God. Uh, this uh, hymn that came to my mind this morning, uh, I Need Thee Every Hour. Uh, just a beautiful hymn that just uh, helps us to recognize that we're really nothing without without Jesus, without Jesus in our lives. And, um, well, of course I just thought that they were freckles. Don't you love it when advertisements swab. come up in the middle of your YouTube video? But this, this song, this one is uh, by uh, Fernando Ortega, who has a very beautiful voice. I just want us to listen to a little bit of this, and then I'm going to re read a reflection for you this morning about how we need God every hour. I about that in John 15. He knows that we need him. He says, for without me, you can do nothing, John 15, verse 5. And there's places throughout scripture where we can connect to God in a special way because we need him. Psalm 46, verse 1, uh, reminds us that we need the Lord in times of trouble. In times of trouble, we can go to God 
and say, here I am, Lord. Here I am. I need you. I need you to fix this situation that I'm in because, boy, I keep getting in deeper and deeper. Deeper. 1 Corinthians 10, 13 reminds us that we need the Lord in times of temptation. And Jesus himself, uh, you know, in the Gospels, uh, had that time of temptation. We need the Lord. And, and when Jesus was in that time of temptation, when Jesus was in that time of temptation, where did he go? He went to the Word of God, the God of the, the, the Word of his Father, in order to satisfy his soul so that he could overcome the temptation. James 1 verse 5 reminds us that we need the Lord in times of confusion. When we need the Lord, we need the Lord when we're seeking wisdom. And friends, we need to be seeking good wisdom. Hebrews 11 verse 34 reminds us that we need the Lord in times of weakness. You know, in times of decision, in times of darkness, in times of disease, in times of difficulty, in times of, of death, in times of life, in times of, of just day in and day out doing, we need the Lord. And so I want to send you, uh, send you away this morning with some homework, uh, a reading of Psalm 52, uh, verse 22, and a reading from Hebrews 4, verses 14 through 16. Um, I think that it's important that we remember um, what Jesus teaches, that without him we can do nothing, that we need him every hour we need him. The beauty of the uh, hymn that we sing, I need thee, oh, I need thee, every hour I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my Savior, I come to thee. Friends, will you take the time to come to him, to come to him, all who are weary and heavy laden. He's the one that gives us rest. He's the one that gives us comfort. Don't take any hour of the day for granted. Live in the holiness that he's already laid out for you. Live as a saint. Scripture tells us that we can be saints. We grow into that. We grow into that. And so joy, sadness, war or peace, love or hate, purity or impurity, charity or greed, all are tremendous realities which hinge on the interior life, on our interior life. Take care of your interior self, friends. Seek the Lord in all the ways that you can because he's looking out for you. Love you, friends. We'll talk soon. Bye for now.